Jamie. I'm going to take you on a tour today of Seattle's Chinatown. Behind me here is Ocean City Restaurant, a very popular dim sum place with mixed reviews. And over here, the Shanghai Garden. There are a ton of Chinese restaurants in this neighborhood, as well as other Pan-Asian restaurants, because they reflect the actual demographics of the neighborhood, which today are not just Chinese, but also Japanese, Filipino, Vietnamese, Korean, Thai, Laotian, Cambodian, and Pacific Islander, in addition to some of the other ethnic groups of Seattle, which are uh, white, black, Hispanic. And this is called not just Chinatown, but Chinatown International District, because it encompasses more than just the historic Chinatown area. Chinatown was originally established in Seattle when the Chinese immigrants came in the 1850s and 60s. In the 1880s, there was a lot of racial tension and the Chinese were forcibly driven out of their Chinatown. But fortunately, they were able to recover from that and they came back. And by the early 1900s, they built Chinatown here as we know it today. And it's been here ever since. In addition to Chinese, it was also Japanese and Filipino immigrants that established communities in this area around the same time period in the early 1900s. And the Japanese community, Nihomachi, was north of here and pretty much died out when all of the residents were moved to internment camps during World War II. But now there's still a lot of Japanese influence, as you can see with restaurants, and there are other Japanese businesses in the area. It was much later in the 1970s and 80s that Southeast Asians established communities in this area and now the heart of the Vietnamese community, Little Saigon, is located to the east of here. And that is located across the freeway from here. When the freeway was built in the 60s, it destroyed a large part of the neighborhood. As you can see how much space it takes up. But now uh, they've made artistic references to fit it within its context. As you can see, there are a lot of artistic references throughout the neighborhood, from this Chinese zodiac in the pavement, to the lamp posts. there are dragons on a number of the utility poles. Not this one, but maybe we'll see one. This is partially due to the 1% for the Arts program, but also Chinatown International District was given federal status as a historic district in 1986. These artistic references help to define the neighborhood's character and this counteracts some of the pressures there are for gentrification. There's ongoing tension between development and preservation in this area. Over here is Hinghei Park, one of the centers of the community. It's a place where festivals take place, people come to gather and to meet up. This is the gorgeous building of the Changhua Benevolent Association. And that association was started in 1915, but this building was constructed in 1929. And the Changhua Benevolent Association was established to provide a unified voice for Chinese Americans in Washington State and mediate disputes between family associations. It continues to serve the community, promoting Chinese culture and general welfare. Its programs include Chinese language school, citizenship classes, and Chinese cultural activities. This neighborhood has a very colorful history, including the largest massacre that Seattle has ever seen, where 13 people were killed. There was also, in addition to the Great Seattle Fire, which damaged the first Chinatown, there was a huge warehouse fire in 1995 that killed four Seattle firefighters. You should wash your hand like six times, right? But those are just some dramatic moments. As you can see today, it's a pretty joyful place. There are a lot of arts here, music, 
there are several newspapers out of this district, as well as museums and other creative vendors. This gate that was not put here until 2008 is a welcome to the neighborhood for visitors, and it also is painted with red, the lucky color in Chinese culture, and it also is meant to commemorate the achievements of citizens of the neighborhood. Hope you enjoyed this tour of Seattle's Chinatown International District. If you want to learn more, visit my blog, uh, click the link below this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.